Hey, so I've been uh, comparing uh, the duck in the MacBook Pro, which uh, delivers 32-bit filtered bit depth and uh, 96 kilohertz maximum out through the uh, analog output. And I compared it to my the duck in the Pioneer. And uh, not surprisingly, uh, running the USB into that one sounded worse than just using the internal DAC for 32-bit 96. The 32-bit depth versus 24-bit depth difference was so big that I there's no need to go USB if you're not going to go to uh, 192 kilohertz uh, DAC and even then you can only get 16 bit out of the, the MacBook Pro 2011 and this uh, have changed I know with uh, later models I don't it didn't even get the right info on this first uh, some uh, blog or something said that you could only go 96 but you can go 192 kilohertz but only with 16 bits so it's not gonna sound that much better than the 32 bit 96 sounds better than that I think uh, I don't know if it has anything to do with that. I have a, a duck here as well. That's 192, 24. And that that might mess with the digital in here. With the down sampling. Because I think, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I think it even distorted a bit. Played some saxophone on these. From Marvin Gaye live album. And uh, yeah, it didn't sound bad, but it didn't sound as good as the the internal sound card on the Mac, just with analog out. So Macintosh is pretty good value still. It's uh, seven years old and still it's better than going through this duck, which is of course older. So that just makes sense, but yeah, it's pretty good value, I'd say.